IRS says if you're eligible and didn't get one or didn't get the full amount, you can claim something called the recovery rebate credit when you file your taxes. The recovery rebate credit is a way to reconcile with the amount that you were actually owed and the amount you received so that if there's more coming your way, you'll get it through that recovery rebate credit when you file your return. If you don't remember how much you got, check your IRS online account or check your mailbox for a letter by the IRS for this purpose. It's called letter 6475. If you don't fill out that worksheet, the IRS isn't going to do it for you. So you need to fill out the worksheet and make sure you put the proper numbers uh, in there. Our experts say if you don't ordinarily file a tax return, you should go ahead and do it. You may be able to get that stimulus payment retroactively if you missed out. Joe Manchin is opposing President Biden's new stimulus plan, everybody, just to address the rising gas prices. Joe Manchin believes that people should receive more stimulus by the end of the year. Are you on Joe Manchin's side with this, everybody? Tell me in the comments down below if you agree with Joe Manchin, because I do. And several new batches of relief checks are being issued right now to many people all across the country. Thanks to a new budget surplus, the low-income households across the nation across the nation, will actually be given to receive up to $1,000. And so now that Massachusetts has been receiving and receiving uh, issued refund checks, direct deposits as well, from a $3 billion tax surplus, it's all thanks to a law that links the state's tax revenue to wages and salaries. And in South Carolina, taxpayers are expected to receive refunds of up to 800 bucks by the end of the year, everybody. That's a lot of money. And there are just two of the many states issuing tax refunds and stimulus checks to help residents just deal with inflation. But folks, don't forget about this. Massachusetts lawmakers sent the long-awaited economic development bill to the governor's baker's desk. And so... When he signs the bill, people can start receiving their tax refund checks in the mail, the via direct deposit this week as well. And through a lengthy distribution process, it will span through the middle of the month through the end of next year. So it might take a while for you to receive the stimulus, but don't worry. The initial batch of refunds will be shipped out this week as the administration begins the process of returning nearly $3 billion in excess tax revenue to the Bay Staters, as required by the 1980s tax law. So, a spokesperson of the executive office said in a statement that these refunds will go out by December 15th. So, check your mailbox and check your bank account on that day. Taxpayers can expect a refund that equates about to 14% uh, of their 2021 personal income tax liability. That's a one percentage point jump over early estimates from the Baker administration. No action is needed for residents to secure the tax credit. It was caused amid ballooning surplus revenues. As long as they already filed tax turns, you should be able to get the money. And residents who have yet to file their 2021 tax turn do so by September 15th will also get the refund eligible. A one-time tax rebate for residents of Hawaii has also recently been delayed for some because of a paper shortage with the next round of checks set to resume. Hawaii's Department of Taxation has so far sent out 282,000 direct deposits, and that's about 6,100 paper checks. The state says all of those who filed their tax refunds by August should have already received the money, both for individuals who opted for a paper check and for a direct deposit. Now, the rebate amount varies by income, but you should get it by December 31st. Individual filers making 100 grand a year and joint filers making less than 200 can expect a tax rebate totaling up to 300,000. For individuals making over 100,000 a year and joint filers making up to uh, 200,000 a year, you'll receive a one time tax rebate of $100. Today, though, Joe Manchin has criticized Joe Biden again. Now, guys, listen to this because it gets interesting. He called for coal plants to be U.S. in the shuttered and coal plants to be shuttered in the United States. He said that Biden remarks are outrageous and divorced from reality. Biden, while speaking in California about the Chips and Science Act, said that we're going to be shutting these plants down all across the country and having wind and solar provide tax credits to help families buy energy efficient appliances. Manchin's now against, Manchin is now against this. He sees the comments in a statement calling them outrageous. And he said they ignore the severe economic pain of the American people. That people are feeling the high rising cost of energy. But he said that Biden doesn't care. It seems Biden's positions change depending on the politics of the day, he said. Politicizing our nation's energy policies would only bring higher prices and more pain to the people. So, I hope that President Biden can deal with this because, listen to this. It's not unusual for Manchin to criticize Biden's agenda and his reluctance at times to support democratic initiatives. He prevented the president from achieving some bills. And now, the press secretary responded to the statement saying, Biden's words have been twisted. 
She stated the president's remarks have been twisted to suggest a meeting that was not intended. He regrets if anybody has had these remarks and took offense. But it doesn't matter, folks. We know one thing. President Biden must send out stimulus. What is your sort of general reaction to all of this? Senator, you've spoken eloquently about the benefits of the child tax credit. I completely agree with your comments. It cut um, childhood poverty dramatically. It um, enabled families to get a little bit of breathing room and to help their kids um, afford nutritious food and clothing and back to school supplies. And um, it really played a critical role. I think you know that the president has repeatedly said that he strongly supports extension. We would love to see Congress enact that. Um, it's, it's made a huge difference to inequality. It was a very important initiative. I feel very proud. I appreciate your comments. I feel very proud of the work that Treasury, and particularly the IRS, was able to do to get this money out and to do everything we possibly could to ensure that non-filers, all the many households who weren't required to file tax returns, to make sure that they receive the credit as well. Um, I would love to see, and we've been talking about uh, investments in the IRS. Um, one thing that investments in the IRS would do is make sure the IRS has the modern tools it needs when we have tax credits like that to make sure they go to the families um, that deserve it, whether they file taxes or not. I, th I thank my colleague. Um, the secretary has got a hard stop of 1245. It is finally approved. Many stimulus bills have been passed by lawmakers. Checks will begin going out this month, and people have to meet the new eligibility requirements in order to receive these nearly stimulus checks. So folks, it's pretty good to see that President Biden is helping out the American people with stimulus payments. If you think he's doing a good job on this, tell me in the comments. So you guys are going to have to take action right away to receive these relief checks. So now that tax season is over, residents in several states may be eligible for additional economic impact payments. And while a third round of stimulus checks were sent out, people can be eligible for a fourth one. In the state of Georgia, the governor signed a bill in March that will provide eligible state residents additional economic payments about after they file their taxes. And according to the statement, once a taxpayer files their taxes for 2021, the State Department of Revenue will send out additional credit. Single taxpayers will receive $250. Married couples will receive $500. A taxpayer that is considered the head of household will receive a $375 payment. According to the governor's office, when government takes in more than it needs, those dollars should be returned to the taxpayer because that's your money, he said. Now, similar legislation was signed in Indiana. The governor's office said earlier this month, the governor announced in December that an estimated 4.3 million taxpayers are set to receive $125 stimulus check after filing taxes. That's an estimated $545 million going back to Indiana residents. In New Mexico, there could also be a chance for you to receive a tax rebate after filing taxes. The governor signed this legislation in March and single tax filers will receive a one-time tax rebate of $250 and married filers will receive a one-time tax rebate of $500. In the state of New Jersey, residents will be eligible to receive up to $500 in tax rebates after they file their 2021 tax.